Welcome back to another advanced game maker studio tutorial and here I'm going to show you at the very beginning how you can home in onto the nearest target which is kind of easy so these are just four lines and then for the advanced users how we can do a scattered homing so what do I mean by that so let's say for example you just uh, want to use the easy peasy uh, instance nearance code so for example what I do on right mouse button I just press and I create five rockets and then this looks like this and it's kind of silly because that thing are five rockets on the same spot which doesn't look too good so how can we remedy that well i'm just spawning five instances and then they are homing on a specific random target which is pretty good and then you can do a little bit more uh, well, uh, send stuff because if you're just homing on the nearest target this is, isn't always what you want alrighty this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and of course subscribing if you haven't so let's go into uh, the concept so basically what we're having we're having a rocket which is aligned like this, centered in the middle. And then, for example, once we are giving it a move towards point, then it will turn around all the time, uh, depending where it's flying to. And then, of course, if you use move, move towards to, uh, the function is just a one-liner, then it will change the direction and the speed which, which you're giving. And then, for example, it's flying to the nearest target, which is pretty good. But let's say it's just flying always to the nearest target, but the other ones are being ignored. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want to have something like this. Then, for example, once this thing is being created, let's say at the very beginning, let's say down here by a spawner, a torrent, or I don't know, by an event, and for example, radially, you want to make it do something like this. Now let's make this a little bit bigger. So radially something like this. Yeah, as you can see, this looks like a <laughs> balloon, but never mind. And then for example, you can target this one, this one, this one, or this one. This is what I call then scattered targeting. And then for example, once the thing is destroyed, and then for example, another rocket is homing in there. It's like, oh, it's all destroyed. Then it will create radially once again, uh, a zone and then it will home into the nearest next random one which is once again the concept of scattering but homing in the same time but not just onto one spot alrighty so let's go into game maker uh, let's get rid of all that stuff boom basically uh, we are spawning rockets this you can do that by a mouse click or a thing which is just instance create so nothing special in my opinion here um, how can you do the homing? No, no, no. How can you do the easy homing? So we're gonna kill that. For that, uh, very, very easy. We need one thing, which is move towards point. So once again, just copy paste that thing in here. So move towards point. This is an inbuilt game maker script. Easy peasy. And for that, you need uh, two input parameters. Well, the position, X and Y, where you want to go. And then the speed, and then this thing, will move towards where you want to go. Then of course we need to have uh, well, a thing which is near, so the nearest instance. So this is how we create this one. So instance nearest, I'm just gonna copy paste that thing here. Um, the instance nearest and then of course from yourself to the target which you want to target. Of course, uh, best practice is to have an object enemy parent, then all the children of the parent will be targeted also, so you can group them together. So therefore, uh, I just call that object uh, target YouTube or whatever, but of course here you go with what you want to target. And once again, parent best practice, this is what I do normally. Um, and then for example, we store that into a variable. So here, near, boom. And then we are moving uh, towards a thing. But of course, um, if you destroy all the targets, then we need to have a fail safe, which is kind of important. So we're just checking like, hey, if instance exists, here we go. Because let's say you destroyed all the targets, there are none there, then still you would store that. And then here it would throw an error, which you don't want because you're trying to target towards a thing which doesn't exist anymore. So here instance exists and then you're pretty much done. And of course, we want to rotate the image angle of the rocket towards, well, your direction because your direction is being changed by inst uh, move towards point here. It will 
uh, change the direction depending uh, where you want to go and then well this will be the speed set automatically so here once again we can uh, get rid of that thing and for example by pressing the right mouse button um, it will just do the job of course now i'm firing now five at the same time with my little tester which i put into the room so this is this object here and then for example what we do we just go boom 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 and then it is okay and of course it is homing into the nearest of uh well which it is having so this is pretty neat it is working pretty good but let's say you want to scatter then we have to go a little bit deeper so what are we going to do we need to have a collision circle so if you don't know just um, press f1 on collision circle and then list and then we just copy that stuff here because we need it so let's go into game maker back again and then and a little bit more advanced rocket so we just say like something like this we just copy paste that thing in here of course we need to change our target here maybe you want to have a different radial of course you can do that with collision rectangle this is of course up to you i just go i don't know 300 or whatever then 300 pixels from its uh, creation of this specific rocket we want to do a lot of things and of course we can kill the most of that stuff because we don't need that we don't need that and here we i just simply want this stuff we copy that out copy that in and then uh, what do we want to do well we just want to take one random of these things which are uh, well stored in the list so how can we get that well we just create a little of our rand. so a random number which is going between zero to this number so um, then we wrap it into a i random range boom and then of course we go to have to go minus one because uh, well uh, the number which is for example stored here is not correct so here we need to start with zero and go to minus one and then we just uh, have now the id or the entry inside our list and therefore we just set id because we want to actually grab the id of it because this is not the, the id this is just the entry and then we are grabbing the id and then we store that into a variable which are called target so here we go of course target we haven't created in our create event but it's already there and we set it <laughs> to um, target no one. And this is already pretty sufficient, but we will come to uh, lots of uh, problems. For example, um, if there are no instances there, so therefore we have to do some fail saves. But for now we, we do something like this. And then you see the whole thing. So let's say for example, we are saying like, cool, if our target is not no one, so we just stored something in there then we move towards the thing and well we target it so move towards point and then now as you can see now because we stored this id in there we can target it and this kind of works but it will throw an error so let's create a few of them and as you can see <laughs> first of all they are doing uh, constantly updating and checking which isn't too good so as you can see this is uh, yeah not the best thing they're kind of twitching because they are uh, getting a random tag target all the time which isn't too good so first of all we just say like hey if our target is no one then we assign a new target close that thing in here and then of course this is of course definitely more resource saving because now you are not uh, updating and giving it a new target for every rocket so this is pretty good already so let's check it out there once again already much much better and as you can see they are scattering scattering already but if i keep on doing this we get an uh, error like this and then boom we are trying to blah blah blah, blah find uh, instance for um, and then here this thing is gonna break because sometimes uh, 
you try to home into a thing which is already assigned but it doesn't exist anymore and then this thing is breaking and therefore we need two fail saves uh, which we need to input i just copy paste that in here so basically we're just checking like hey are there actually any well targets so let's say your object parent enemy or for example does this target still exist and then we quickly select no it doesn't exist then we set our target to nowhere and then well we won't be doing the homing thing and of course um, then it will still move in a specific direction with, with a specific speed but because it's set to no one um, it is okay and then for example the next step boom it's just saying like hey oh are we still are we no one again as a target so we are basically resetting and then we are searching for for a target but let's say for example there are no targets left then boom this thing works and now uh, our code is solid so let's check it out does work does work does work does work let's spawn <laughs> tons of these rockets and then once we are spawning no targets are left and still we are getting no errors and this is what we wanted hopefully that was of interest to you guys because let's say you are uh, spawning tons of stuff and you just don't want to home it on the nearest you just want to scatter a little bit then you do the one up in the scatter targeting alrighty that was it from my side have a good one one up indie